Hello, Nona Church family. Um, today's devotional for me came from Ecclesiastes 3, and if you're familiar with that particular chapter in the Bible, you are familiar with the fact that that's the one that talks about how there's a, a season for everything. There's a purpose for everything under heaven, that there's a time to live and a time to die, a time to reap and a time to sow, that there's a time for uh, us to be able to to weep and there's a time for us to also be able to laugh, a time for us to be able to mourn and a time for us to be able to dance. And as I think about that in the context of all that we continue to go through, it's been making me think about um, all the people that are starting to come to me or be in phone conversations with me or send me emails about the fact that they're getting the vaccine. And for those of you that are deciding to do that, um, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for what that might mean for your life. For those of you here who are uneasy about that, that's okay. Take your time. Wait for the season that is right for you to decide when or if you decide to get that vaccine. One of the things that is happening as a result of that is that we're passing from a season where we have been weeping and crying um, to moments where I'm starting to hear a little bit more laughter, where I get to hear stories of um, I got my second vaccine. Richard, I got my second vaccine two weeks ago and I'm getting ready to come back to church. I got my vaccine two weeks ago and I'm back to being able to see my family. Those stories, those stories are stories of hope. And I, I think that as we look back on this time, hopefully a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, that we'll be looking back and saying, you know what, it was hard but we got through it. In the midst of all that we were facing, we were steady like a, like a tree in the midst of a storm. We bent, but we didn't break. My hope and prayer for us, for you, um, in these coming days and weeks, maybe months and maybe in years, um, it's probably my prayer for all times, is that whenever you face the difficult circumstances of life, whenever the seasons are heavy upon you, that there's a hope within you that's bigger, that you're able to find ways to be able to bend without breaking, that you're able to bow to God before breaking to the things that are happening here on earth. May that be the direction for us as individuals. May that be the direction for us as a church. We bend, but we don't break when we face the challenges of life. I think that's the Christian story which means it's our story. Let's keep living that together. See you tomorrow in worship. Amen.